Hello everyone and welcome to Hive Side Casts. My name is Arclight and tonight we have the second round between Duplex and Exertus. Exertus getting the cargo hive and dropping pipeline stat. Marines split two towards one, three going to topographical. And when engaging aliens already. Marine commander is Aeros. Aliens clearing it out like a boss. It really went south for Marines in the start. Swalk is gonna push towards Tapo. Now Tequila is getting dropped by two Marines, two aliens. Oh, rape. And immediately recycling that RT. I think it's a smart choice before Marine can get there. It would be destroyed. Look at that distance. And they only lost five resources because of it, look. So I think getting the five RTs back is a really nice decision there. Zop's running away in a vent. We have that high 50% grown in a minute and a half it took it to drop, so... Oh, light getting dropped by Squirrelli. Tequila trying to make a new one, but let's see how it goes. Tequila and Squirrelli. Tequila having good control, killing that. Alien with a bash, nice. Two marines pushing for pipe. So what's the decision making? They do have observatory, but I do not see face tech on the way. Probably want to get three RTs before it, which they do have now. And they need a few rests. Look at that alien grouping. That will look so bad when marines move in. Gorge troll. Two aliens, and, oh my god, almost, <laughs> and killed by a heal spray. Oh my god, that's so funny. And the aliens have enough resources to start leap immediately. So I do think it's gonna start right now. Look how good it looks. Deploying cysts. <laughs> Lama forgot to drop the RT. So what's happening on the rest of the map? Oh, sorry. Marines built a um, power node in double, but not the uh, RTs themselves. Face stack coming for Marines right now. We have Swalk building the left side over. So I think we have same spawns as we did in first round. Leap started, face stack completed. <coughs> <coughs> oh my god, look at that. My computer is compiling something in the back, so it's a bit twitchy. It's a nice try. But let's see if he can get it totally covered. I think he already reached 10. Uh, it's, it's good. It, it does not provide direct line of fire, but let's get back to the game. So Marine's trying to take, take back the double. There are three marines there, but the power node, oh, that power node, takes so long to repair without welders. That power node. Aliens tr not trying to use the vents to get behind, except trying to use direct approach. Power node completed. Phase and base already deployed. Aliens working on marine RTs, let's see how SWAC handles this. Nicely, scares it away. Oh, leap is done. Nice control by Swalk. Parasite away from that, so... Oh my god. By watching Swalk, I missed the big battle. Everything started to be recycled. Alien is trying to go for power node. I know a small amount of resources lost due to recycle. Let's see. Oh, but Swalk is gonna have a bad time now. Again, two Marines trying to push the right, right side. And again, Aliens killing the power node in Central, which really helps them in double, so 
also called nano grid status. Excuse me, but all NS1 habits was called double, always will be double. <coughs> oh, two marines pressuring, but they have aliens on their backs. They notice it last second, kills one, second runs away. Let's see, aliens trying to spread to the C12. Oh my god. Swak in a bad position to help Tequila and Tequila in bad position to help, help Swak, so Marines made an error on their side and their side only. Trying to build another RT, so they lost four in total. Mine started, which is nice. Elmo sneaking in the vents. Look at that. They made it so you can't see through the vents now as you could before towards here. You do have a vent that goes out but not a uh, great as you had uh, earlier on. Elmo notices the marine and runs away. Carapace started. Oh, but we're gonna miss something. Let's see how it goes, how it really looks nice here in Holo Room. Rape! Look at that cute Gorgie. Cute little Gorge. Well, that could take a while. In the meantime, Marines taking back the subsector, making phase gate armory, dropping mines around the phase gate, and trying to make an OBS, so they got a forward warning system. Aliens sneaking in the vents, while Marines trying to pressure the right side again. Hoo hoo hoo. Basically what I think that Marines holding the 5 RTs as they are should drop an arms lab instead of trying to go for proto and get some upgrades stat. Because they're not killing back the alien res, aliens are trying to take them and aliens could probably hit a <coughs> fade soon so it could go south. Nice decision by Marine Commander. Beaconing everyone to base. That gorge trying to do something but unable to. So nice decision making by commander. In the meantime, one alien trying to buy down main CC, but Marines, oh, nice kill by a mine. So Swag happy, not even going to check it out. Nice drifter placement towards dome. Oh, towards system, pardon me, the dome is towards right. It's also close enough so it could help, but yet it's far enough so it's not detected by scans and system. Weary should have taken the axe out. Nice mine damage. Making that alien run away. New alien moving in. Ammo pack dropped. Light drop in mines in the critical positions. <coughs> and Marines going for double again. Aliens already assisting towards it. Greedy aliens want some resources. It's not a bad decision, but... Swalk already working on that chopping down in the RT. Blink has started for phase. But I think Sainomi made a mistake by leaping on Swalk. Swalk could hear it, but still manages to get him before it. And Marines are going to have a hard time now, because they know they have to push towards uh, double now, because if aliens get double, they're going to get rest stomped, and that's something they don't want to. Also, arms lab is done. Armor 1 started, so they're kind of expecting those fates to come out anytime. So they want to stay for at least three hits. Four marines pressuring for system. Shotguns are done. So we got 
every marine carrying a shotgun here, light weary and tequila. Everyone carrying a shotgun plus who is in the back? Nobody's in the back. The alien went down. Elmo in the vents. Trying to get from behind it. Squirrelly hiding behind the RT. And we got three Marines on three skulks. But I think that Alien is going to have this unless the killer pulls out a miracle, which he doesn't. Still doesn't mean it was bad. What do we have now? What's the decision behind Marines? They got armor, they got shotguns. They take some again. They face. But I saw no push for the main base RT or the extraction RT was tried once but failed miserably. What we do have is a drifter and topographical which gives a, a way when they are coming. Say no me, moving in but not seeing anything. Swalk, spider sense tingling, waiting for that alien. He can hear it but not see it, drops down. Probably wants to take out that C12 RT. Oh, we do have Marines in main base. We do have one fade, I think. Llama is the first fade and the only fade currently. But while well, one alien pressures the top of RT, the Marines pressure the C12 RT and Swalk moving away. Fade on his ass. And Swalk goes down. Going for a level 2 armor stat, so that's good decision making, I think. It's not going to help much versus fades, but it's going to help with everything else. Plus weapons one can finish up easily. Look at that. A e epic control from Lamb on that fade play. With it just jumping and blinking. Not even wasting that energy. So they got for Carapace, and I probably think they're going to get Celerity, not Adrenaline. But let's see and decide later on. So we have drift, dr Drifter in East. Let's see what he can spot. He can spot pretty much anything that moves past him towards C12 or the double. We have Drifter in Tapo, which is like an early warning system. And we do have Drifter here that's going for system waypointing, so... There's nowhere Marines can go. Wait, I'm a nano. Nowhere Marines can go. They do not get scouted, which is very nice placement from Veritar. I have to give him a credit. Marines still not being able to take double back. Ah, I was right. Celerity spur completed. So let's see. Regeneration carap carapace is dropped here. Where is that? Oh, there it is. So, sh shift upgrades at shift hive, crag upgrades at crag hive. So, two phase, working on advanced armory being complete. Oh my god, level three armor. Those greedy, greedy marines. <coughs> oh, we have one alien in main base. Going away. Just wanted to see the status and then working on the RT, which is... Good decision. Marines take down one RT in double. Look at that, whole double assisted. Oh. But here comes Fade to help his small friend and clears it out. Oh, two shotguns. Got one RT down versus two Fades. Let's see how it goes. Those Fades do not realize it, but Marines are going for armor three which will be four hits necessary for fades and that's gonna put marines in a very big advantage but weapon upgrades are really what they need I think although it's smart decision making because they know the fades are gonna hit now they already see them on the field so having that extra survivability can really mean a lot with instead of the damage output let's see how they pull this one out you see fade blinking away Only one swipe. Jones 
pulling him away. Our armor tree is done. So let's see how this goes now. Marine down there. Jones running into Elmo, almost taking him down. Elmo has to run away. Use the vents. Oh my god. Oh my god, almost dying on the mine there. Spider sense from Marines is tingling. They got a fade in the back, but look at that. Three hits and very not down. The fade must be wondering what's happening here, guys. That armor tree really helps them a lot. Jetpacks along with weapons one. So this is gonna be fine. And Jones staying on the mine trying to kill that Fey down. We have a beacon. Right here in subsector, not killing anyone. Let's see how this goes. Shotguns, jetpacks, weapons one and armor three. <laughs> Aliens are up to five RTs, which is probably the most I ever saw on this map because Marines can damage. never hold double. Uh, pardon me, aliens could never hold double. Oh, I think that's a bad decision from alien commander dropping a web there. Oh. Oh, Lama is overextending a bit, I think. Squirrelly moving in. Look at that, one by one coming in and moving out. And Sainomi almost overextending. Zops died, but Zops was never a fade. Working down on that last RT. Welders are done now. Fades are coming back. I think they should wait and group up, not go in one by one. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that LMG precision. Almost taking down this fade before he even managed to get in. <laughs> Elmo complaining about blink sound bug. I could not really say because I really don't know. But Fades managed to clear it out together. Now two whips are done. But they are both low on health. We got five Fades now. They're probably trying to close the game, close the deal. Trying to make Marines beacon back and forth from, <coughs> from base to base. Look at that. Beacon here, beacon there. While working on the phase gate the whole time. I would have to split back to main base. I think Marines could benefit from a third infantry portal. Because um, right now the death toll is going to be high on Marines. Like really high on Marines. Especially five fades versus five marines, four shotgun jump pack, uh, jetpacks, one LMG, I think. Yeah, weary with jetpack LMG. And that jetpack with, well, with armor tree is really gonna work in marine favor. Oh my god, look at that! Sneaky, greedy aliens even manage a. Even managed to uh, get RT all the way to the Overlook. My god. So they got double, they got an Overlook, so it's gonna be six RTs for Marines, well, mar uh, aliens. And oh my god, even working towards topographical. Now that's really mean. If they get West Skylights, I think it's gonna be epic. Swalk and... oh. Swalk gonna get swalked. Swatted out of the sky. Look at that marine back to main base. Getting that marine as it got jump pack, I think. No, it didn't. Just a plain marine. Heroes moving back to CC. Fades got regeneration. Uh, pardon me, aliens got regeneration and adrenaline up. There's a crag also. Very spider sense was tingling. Look at that. You get a 
A <laughs> heel wave. Oh my god. Let's see how this goes. I want to see this duel. Let's focus on Weary now. Let's see how it goes. Weary is almost down. He's not using that jet back to its full ability. No, Squirrelly. Almost dying there. Same goes. Oh, Sainomi. Killing that Marine right on the exit. That crag really working in those Fades' favor. And the mobility of Fades makes the aliens cover the whole map. Look at that. What, what, what did I say about West Skylight? Those greedy aliens, even getting spores they don't need. <laughs> Five Fades. And pretty much they have enough rest so if anyone dies they can go Fade again. Marines trying to get weapons too. Which is a smart choice. Weary trying to get an RT back down. But we got aliens pressuring. Oh! Now that was bad. Beacon. Not being able to take Jones down. Oh, Sainomi overextended a bit. Oh, got stuck. And one fade down. But it's not gonna be much of a problem because Sainomi's got 53 rest already. Look at that, two supporting crags. And Zap's having a regeneration on his fate. Weapons 2 is done now. Oh, almost got whip slapped again. Zap's for light, Zap's for light, Zap's a bit overextended. Oh, almost. Good for that shotgun randomness, so it missed. Against Corelli and Jones, two Marines now in. Oh, Jones got whip slapped, leaving Light alone. Light might not be aware of it. The cyst chain was cut. Where it was cut? Oh, here, look. They're missing a cyst there. They're missing a bit more cysts here. Unless they notice that they're going to start losing the left side, but there's a lot of cysts they have to work on first. Light wants to take down this RT node. And gets it. We have Weary in main base versus Zaps. We'll have to see somebody teleporting back, but we do have two Marines spawning in. Weary already on it. What? Jetpacks are down, they lost Protolab. One Fade and two Skulks versus... Uh, one uh, Fade and one Skulk versus three Marines. That Skulk is down right now. Swalk coming back from Phase. Now they're gonna have to face this side because... Hence Veritar as an Onos focusing that Onos down before he manages to take power down. And Lama overextended. Let's see. Light not being able to take him down. One Fey down, but I think he got uh, away because of the feign that. Oh no, Sainomi died again. Veritar went, went for fade, but Sainomi died again as a fade. Oh nice EMP. I really want to see how it works versus fades. Should give a nice advantage to aliens. Again, Light trying to kill that RT. Lama coming in. Light. Oh my god, he got him square in the face. Half held down. 
more than half actually. Oh, Squirrelly and Weary versus uh, Light and Weary versus Squirrelly. So Marines did everything right here. <coughs> they are still doing it. Oh my God! Look at that bile bomb. Oh, Varus are almost out. Oh, they managed to do it. Two gorgeous bile. Let's see. Manages to phase in time, but will they be able to kill those two gorges down? But fate is still there. Marines really need to hold this if they want to win. Right now they're five again. Somebody dropped for a duplex. Oh, Swalk dropped. Ah well, as you know, mostly when somebody drops, especially on Marines in this phase, it's gonna be bad for them. So what I really think is now oh, Swalk is back, teleporting just in. But he lost all his personal rests. This is gonna be a problem. Look at that, two crags behind that RT. Oh no! Main base! Main base! Oh, Tequila phasing right there. And they did get a notice to get back to main. Aero's jumping out. Getting a welder to repair it. In the meantime, in Swalkland, Swalk having an ice control, killing half health points on Squirrelly. Oh, almost killing that new Onas. Alien's trying to make a siege break. Tequila. Did kill that cyst. He's dying wish. Quite literally dying wish. Oh no, Jones were extended again. <laughs> and it's getting easier for aliens because marines lost their phase gate uh, protolab pardon me not the phase gate and still comes another alien look at that celerity on us going straight for main base this is gonna be funny let's keep an eye out on it oh swak knows what's happening no stomp research And I want us in main base, it's gonna be troubles. Yeah, Marines do need to phase back. Hero switching the CC. Using beacon. The beacon only teleports in the live Marines, and we have a pile gorge. Oh, look at that drifter. It's still in the range of the observatory, and they do need to use it. One of those infantry portals is almost down. <laughs> Building Max, trying to get it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. So many drifters. I thought I never saw this. Look at that. It's actually lagging the game, man. <laughs> <laughs> Joel's saying so many, you can't really kill them because they're acting as a buffer. I mean, every drifter's got around 300 health points. This is so many drifters. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't believe what I'm seeing. Every marine is dead. Look at that. All those drifters still having health. And uh, <laughs> Tequila trying to kill them. But this is... This is balls, man. Look at that Tequila. Drifter, drifter, drifter. And still killing drifters. Those ones even cloaked. The observatory is down. Command station. The one in uh, subsector is almost going down. The one in main is down to what is 20%. So many drifters. Still, goddammit. And Marines are all dead. They're saying GG. So the drifter move was 
I just noticed it on radar, man. I, I didn't saw it back. And was a very, very nice decision making from Alien Commander. Having that meaty drifters take the bullets down. I mean, it's 300 dam damage for each. And um, clip from LMG with Weapons 3 does around, what, 650. So that's two drifters at best. Really like this game. Hope you guys enjoyed it and see you next time.